Hi Alex, yeah we are about 50 miles from the centre of Bordeaux actually on the banks of the Gironde. You can see the camp behind me, the chaps are just putting the finishing touches to checking the kayaks ready for the final day tomorrow because these marines are recreating the journey, journey of Operation Frankton. 80 years ago, right into the centre of German occupied France, this was a really dangerous and daring mission. 10 commandos started, only two made it back. The mission was to plant limpet mines on German supply ships. So this recreation is a mission full of dedication, honour and respect. With me is Tom Rendell from Bristol and Lawrence Moore, the organiser from Stockport. Tom, we spoke to you a couple of months ago. You're out on the water now. What's it been like? Because we know 80 years ago it was really dangerous. What are conditions like? Well, it's been exactly what we expected, uh, especially down at the mouth of the Gironde. Ferocious tides, uh, really, really treacherous currents, uh, which kick up big three foot, four foot, unpredictable waves. Um, and those conditions could kill you the, the same today as, as exactly happened to, uh, to two of the boats 80 years ago, sadly. And Tom, we know that all Marines know about Operation Frankton, the cockle shell heroes. Real emotional trip for you. Very emotional, very emotional. Um, from the word go, really, uh, looking at the sites where everything happened, and, and especially to know that you know uh, this operation has has shaped Royal Marines' uh, actions in combat, you know, through through Northern Ireland, uh, through the Falklands, Iraq, Afghanistan, and everything else in between, up to the present day, really. Uh, and Lawrence, just quickly, we need to talk to you because this is a, an important mission for many reasons, but you're raising money for important charities as well. Yes, we are. So when people join the military, they're, they're doing it in order to defend our freedoms, our way of life. And so when they come home and potentially have issues, whether it's physical or mental, we need to make sure that they're supported as well. So Help for Heroes, the Royal British Legion and the Royal Marines Charity are three phenomenal charities who are supporting our service family. So we're raising money for them, hopefully inspiring other people to go and do other expeditions like this and try and raise some more money to support our family. Well, Lawrence and Tom and the others, it's a real pleasure to come to France to follow you through your final journey tomorrow, about 20 kilometres into the centre of Bordeaux, and then a weekend of memorials and big receptions as well for these men, 80 years on from the famous Operation Frankton, and we'll be reporting from France over the next few days, Alex, so we'll talk to you tomorrow.